This video, the third in a series of such videos, contains a number of commonly used sentences in everyday use that have been translated into their Old English equivalents. Uh, I'll also be making use of ChatGPT in this video uh, to translate some modern words into what could be uh, Old English equivalents, words like computer, which didn't exist in medieval times, but uh, using the knowledge of chat GPT, we can make a rough, good, approximate translation into what could, what is Old English or what could be used to replace the word computer. Okay, so number one, what's your favourite dessert? What is thin Leovesta Ateramete? What's your favourite colour? What is thin Leovesta Hiel? That's Hiel. Number three, what's the weather forecast for tomorrow? What is that weather you worry tomorrow? What is that weather you worry tomorrow? I'm craving pizza right now. Ich habe unrotness to rust to pizza. No. Uh, now, this word pizza, you could just use a modern word P I double Z A, but given an old English look and sound, Pete there. Okay. Um, do you have any plans for the summer? Havestu hawat far yumun far dara sumer. What's your favourite type of music? Hawat is thin leo vosta sanga karaft. Do you have any plans for the holidays? Havst thu hawat far yumun Far them sumbel dachas. Or you could say, Havest thu ania tokumas. Far them halchan tidum. Okay, tokumas. Um, number eight, where did you go on your vacation? Hawanon far, oh, my apologies, Hawanon for thu on thina for rails. Now that word there is for. That's to go on a journey. Hawanon or thu on thina farails. Uh, next question: Where did you get? Where did you go on your holiday festival? Hawar do the thu on thina farails yagan. Now a couple of different ways of saying, I'm so excited about the concert. Ichem sawab litha betham sanga yawita. The first way, second way, you could say, or another way, Ichem suwutha yafayarad betham sanga faru. Or you could say, Ichem sawab litha thana sangank to seonna. And can I just say here the double G is sanga gunk. The two Gs must be pronounced to seonna. Do you have any pets? Have a stool, any year, feoer, feta, your feoran. Number 12, I'm trying to eat healthier. Each costi year, hal thoroughly char to etana. Hal thoroughly char to etana. What's your favourite song? Hawati Steen Leo Vesta Sanga. Next, what's your favourite holiday? What is thin Leo Vesta Frails? Can you pick up some milk from the store? Mech thu sum melkan of thara satowe yaniman. Okay, can you uh, some milk from the store pick up take? Can you recommend a good restaurant? Mech thu yaradan an gold etende hus. Now, I couldn't find in the dictionaries available to me a, a word for restaurant, so what I've done is I've put eating house here. Et and dare, present participle of eating, uh, to eat, present participle of eat, eating, hoose. Can you recommend some good restaurants? Merch thu ya raden an a golden et and dare Okay, see the difference between the singular and the plural. I am searching for a job. Each you find after an work. I need to do the laundry. Each there 
Okay, Be'arof Fa'washtodone. I'm running late for my meeting. Ich orina lata tominum yamota. I'm feeling under the weather. You could say ich vele me under fam weather. You can also drop the me and say ich vele under fam weather. And it's still the same result, same translation. I need to clean my room. Ich therf to kalanziana mina room. Mean me. You had to pronounce the double in there. A room. Kalanziana. Kalanziana. Okay, right. going. Now, um, this is where Chat GPT can also help out. Is that um, we can ask here both each therf mina room to clansiana and each therf to clansiana mina room. I've switched the order there mina room first, and on the second one, uh, taking the last two words to clansiana and put them before mina room. And then I've asked chat GPT because uh, which is the better, which is the more correct order. And the answer comes back there, so it just depends on what you want to um, emphasize. But with ChatGPT, it has access to enormous resources in our language, a lot of material that's online and so on. So we can search much more quickly than I can by going through textbooks and so on. And it turns out the only difference between those two, they're both correct, you can use both, just depends on what you want to emphasize. So the form ich ther mina rum to klanziana emphasizes the object mina room, my room, as the thing that needs to be cleaned. The second form, ich therf to kalanziana mina room, emphasizes the action, kalanziana, kalanziana, to clean, as what needs to be done to mina room, okay? Both forms are grammatically correct and, and convey the same meaning, just for a slight difference in emphasis. So an old English word order was more flexible, and different word orders could be used to achieve various stylistic or poetic effects. So both impart the same information, the difference is in emphasis. And there may be times you want to emphasize the cleaning aspect or you want to emphasize the room. Just depends. All right. I need to fix my computer. Next uh, statement. Ich therf to feig kan mina rading karaft. Or you could say ich therf to feig kan mina uh, sorry yishir urchtan okay so feichan ich therf to feichan mina radin kraft now reading craft reading skill has been uh, again it's i uh, got help with that from uh, chat gpt uh, to make this approximation to call on the vast body of knowledge it has at its uh, so-called fingertips so to speak um uh, for the word computer, and I'll talk about that near the end of the video, but reading craft, you can think of that. Then you have yeshir wurchtan. Okay, that's the other option. So it's therf tofechan mina yeshir wurchtan. Okay, so there's two different ways you can say that. I need to buy some groceries. It's therf tobujan sumawaru. It's therf tobujan sumawaru. Can you lend me a hand? Mech tu me ana hand lanen. Can you lend a hand? Mech tu ana hand lanen. Okay, just dropping the me gave a slightly different emphasis. Can you lend me a hand? Whereas can you lend a hand? There's no me. Same sentence, just dropping the word me or for me. Can you help me with this mathematics problem? You can hear the word math in there. Math is how that's pronounced, those uh, first three letters, the M and the long ash and the thorn symbol. Math karafta helpan. So, meachthu me mid thisam math karafta helpan. Okay, can you help me with this mathematics problem? Now, can you help me with this mathematics? If you have a look at this, can you help me with this mathematics? Talking about maths in general, not just a single problem. Then you could say, Meachtu helpst me mit thisam math karafte. All right, slight different emphasis there. 
can you help me with this mathematics referring to perhaps the whole topic the whole chapter the whole subject even uh -huh. as opposed to a single mathematics problem okay how's your day going so far I'm really proud of you. I'm not feeling well today. I'm glad, I'm so glad to see you. I'll be there in a few minutes. On any year. Minuta. Um, now, minuta, uh, I couldn't find that in the dictionary, so um, I've got this from ChatGPT. It's given me a minuta. Um, okay, it's made it up. Uh, you could also say, it be thar on feawum minutum. Minutum. Um, feawum meaning a few mean onto minutes okay so here these are in the dative plural okay uh all right um let's have a look next one 34 i can't find my phone anywhere now be aware um again i've got help with chat gpt but i've given you two options here so i can't find my phone anywhere it's near my Mina yatheo nestal ani hawar findan. So, and the next one you could choose is ich neamai min fon ani hawar findan. Now, here, simply you can substitute in the modern English word. You don't have to go looking for words that look and sound a bit old English. Uh, if you're using old English to talk about uh, objects that exist only in the present, uh, it didn't exist in the medieval time so simply substitute the word phone you could substitute the word computer instead of what i did earlier instead of a rad karafta you could uh, simply use computer now i did ask um chat gpt to come up with a word for phone and it came up with yathiodnes dal okay so uh communication of the people parts uh, so communicating together uh, through a piece that's what it came up with okay it's not a word from the actual era but it's a word that chat gpt has put together using its considerable resources available to it so take in one it's perfectly reasonable to use the modern word phone okay and the rest can be old english let's go shopping Lat us gan chaopian. All right, can you recommend a good book? Mecht tu ya raden an a golden bulk. Okay. Um, I need to go to the bank. It's there to gana to thara bank. Oh, whoops, sorry. Um, now again, same thing there. I couldn't find in the dictionaries available to me a word for bank. And chat GPT struggled a bit too, so it gave me uh, a bank as in a river bank and uh, a bank in, in nature, you know, a mound of some sort. Uh, so that was no good. Uh, so I decided, like phone, just go with the modern word bank. It's there of Tolgana Tothara bank. Simply go it that way. Okay, let's go for a walk. Lat us gan gun gun. Or Uton Gan Gangan. So Uton is let us. Okay, Gan is go and then to to walk to so on. Okay, that's what Gan Gan means. All right, next bit. Okay, now in the early West Saxon dialect of Old English, computer would be translated as Rading Kraft or Yeshir Wurchta. Okay, however, it's important to note that Old English did not have a direct equivalent for the modern concept of a computer as this technology did not exist. Period. The terms provided are approximate translations that convey the idea of computation or some of the words from calculations of knowledge, but they are not literal translations for the modern term computer. Uh -huh. Now, also say that um, you may want these then words, you could then, okay, so um, ChatGPT provides you these two words here, Radinkraft, 
Radin Gekraft, uh, or Yeshia Rewurchta, okay? And then you may want to ask for the accusative forms of those, because you need, the grammar requires that the words are in the position where the object must be, and so it must be in the accusative form. Or you could get the dative form of them, or plural forms. It's simply, you can ask uh, ChatGPT and it'll deliver them to, to you. Now, just realise something. I hope I pronounced that correctly. So it's Radinga Karaft. Radinga Karaft. Okay, you need to pronounce the G there. Now, for phone, I also asked ChatGPT after making, uh, preparing much of this video, and it came up within the early West Saxon dialect of Old English. This is how it answers me. The word phone would be translated as seat fat, seat fat, or seat lair. Okay, seat fat, or seat lair. Okay, um, now there'd be a, be a bit of a hyphen in there, and that's like journey vessel. So uh, you could think of it as a journey, a, tra a journey vessel, so because it communicates over a distance, so it, it, the information goes on a journey as a vessel which holds this thing that goes on a journey. So that's a fair approximation. Uh, Seathlair, I can't really tell you where that might come from, but um, I don't, uh, it looks like a single word. Um, but Seathfat, you can see it's clearly a compound word. So I should probably put a hyphen in there. And Seath is journey to travel. And fat, meaning it's is the old English word for a vat or a container, uh, like a drinking vessel. All right, um, that's it. So chat GPT is very good, but can I just warn you, please check everything you do with chat GPT. Go have a look in your dictionaries and just be sure that you're happy with things. If it doesn't look right, query it. Make sure the grammar is correct. Make sure it's in the right place. You know, nominative, accusative, genitive, dative, whatever it is. You just got to be a bit careful. That's all. Okay, check what comes out because it does sometimes produce mistakes. Sometimes it produces some brilliant um, uh, solutions but other times it can make mistakes, okay? And uh, I've come across words like hast, H-A-S-T. That was not an old English word. Uh, and yet ChatGPT has used that uh, sometimes in some of the translations I've come across. Uh, mayst was another one. Uh, may, as in can, uh, M-A-S-G dot palatalized. Um, you could have mayst, M, uh, long ash G dot, uh, palatalized G, that's a G with a dot above, then ST, but not mayest, M long ash G dot, and then EST. That, that's not correct. All right. Um, yeah, that's about it. So just be careful. Check what comes out of chat GPT, but it's very, very good. Uh, just check. Sometimes, sometimes errors come. All right.